Excuse me. Hmm? Why? I am this temple's caretaker. I have spent a long time in this place. Did you know this temple was dedicated to those tyrannical beings of long ago? You mean the demons on the plane of tyranny? Why speak of that? Well, it's quite a long story. Think you could listen to it? I haven't spoken to any living soul for so long. Yes. Okay. It all started a year ago. I was sleeping in my bed when I felt a strange presence inside the mind of my friend Anne. Upon peeking into it, she was conversing with a strange entity, speaking of a bloodbath, bathing the world. The next day, I was in the forest, testing out my sacred powers into the night, when I noticed a demonic presence in this forest. I then discovered the demons with their master, Tyrannius. They captured a poor innocent girl named Emma. But I saved her and allowed her to stay at my house because she was a runaway. The next day, Anne and her friends, Emma and Pinky, came to my house where I learned that Anne had encountered the same demon I had yesterday and received a letter from a demon called Tyrannia. The letter stated that Tyrannia was upset upon learning her demon babies, which is strange or something like that, were harassed by her and had spread her dark magic across Blackwater County. It also stated that all this could be stopped if Anne traveled to Summerside and gave her a formal apology. With that, we settled on a wild adventure to travel to Summerside. On our journey, we encountered many hardships, made new friends, battled demons wreaking havoc, and landed ourselves in absurdly singing situations. This one time, Ezzy was zapped with a ray gun which blew her up like a huge balloon. Another time, we were in a diner ran by demons with huge eyeballs who tried to kill us. I'd go on and on, but I think I'd waste too much of your time. Eventually, we finally arrived at Summerside to have Anne apologize to Tyrannia and call off the chaos being caused. Unfortunately, it didn't go as far. Tyrannia attempted to destroy us with her dark magic, but we were able to defeat her and save Blackwater. Or so we fought. After her defeat, Laughter. <laughs> this laughter was from the same entity Anne spoke to in her dream ago. The entity was the one who actually plotted everything. The demons, the bloodbath, Tyrannia. Everything was planned from the start. The entity in question was named Tenebria. He lived in a dimension called Settle Space that could only be entered and exited by a thing powered by a dimension crystal, an obsidian. Fortunately, he had help with an indenter called Dr. Cordito and was able to leave Settle Space to enact his bloodbath. This bloodbath? What was that about? I'm getting to it. Tenebrium would use a spell that would make every living thing, except the one who cast the spell, inflate until he exploded. When he casted that spell, that was what happened. We all inflated like balloons. While it was a wild and tough battle, Tenebrion was defeated. The spell was broken, and the world was saved. Since that day, peace and prosperity reigned, and everyone could get on with their regular average lives. And that's all, right? Well, yeah. After that wild adventure, I, alongside Anne's companions, became the bestest and closest friends. Not one day went by where we didn't spend time together, smiling, laughing, and making memories to last forever. Everything was just fine. But, but what? Well, also my friends got over it. I never really felt the same way after defeating Tenebrian. I know he'll come back one day, and when he does, he will be angry. Well, I do know he'll come back. I don't know when he'll come back. Tell me, if you had an answer, when would he come back? Right now, Emmett. Miss me? I knew you'd be back. Well, here I am again, in the flesh. Now that I'm back, I'm free to spread my chaotic evil everywhere, starting with your world. You have no chance of stopping me. <laughs> Yawn! 
Now, let's make some malicious mayhem. 